Classic TV fans, Rick Nigy here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Desi Arnaz, the amazing Cuban-born actor, entertainer. He was also head of a studio, was such a genius. But I'm going to more specifically talk about the time where allegedly the mafia put a hit on him. I'll give you all the details. There's so much to talk about and I won't get through all of it. I'm just gonna give you the highlights, the main information, and then I really need to know your thoughts down below because it is a controversial topic, but I think that this type of history should be told and then it's up to us to decide essentially history and what happened and so forth. I am trying to reach 150,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. The only way I can do that is if you are subscribed to the channel. It's absolutely free to do so. Hit that red subscribe button and we'll get there in no time. Thank you so much. So to understand what is going on here, even though I have images of I Love Lucy, because that's the most prominent thing we have of Desi Arnaz. A lot of this is focused around the show The Untouchables, but mostly around Desi Arnaz. Now, if you don't know, The Untouchables was a series from 1959 to 1963 that fictionalized some of the exploits and real life crime fighters and mobsters of the time. Things like Tommy Guns, mobsters, Elliot Ness, Al Capone, that was all part of the show. Again, I won't go into extreme detail who played who. I wanna really get into the heart of what happened here with Desi Arnaz. Even Frank Sinatra was involved in this. It's really, really crazy. Now, Frank Sinatra was also one that criticized the show. For him, it was a little more close to home as the singer had a production office on the Desilu lot. Now, according to a book written by mafia boss Sam Giancana, he ordered Sinatra to go pay a visit to Desi Arnaz. Now, the two Hollywood icons, they argued about the show, that is, The Untouchables. Arnaz insulted Sinatra, calling him a television failure. Sinatra immediately moved his offices to Sam Goldwyn Studios, and The Untouchables, meanwhile, added an Italian-American hero and diversified the bad guys. Many say that was a way to placate the real mafia and a way to kind of placate Sinatra and just let things go to a peaceful resolution. Now there's more to it than that. Now you may know the name Albert Sonny Capone, but not Junior. Yeah, so Albert Sonny Capone Jr. was Al Capone's son. And he had personal ties to Desi Arnaz as well, not only Frank Sinatra. Now he was a year younger than the Cuban star, but Sonny Capone, as they called him, he attended St. Patrick Catholic School in Miami Beach, Florida. And this is where the two were friends as teenagers. Now here's where the story takes an interesting turn. There is a man from, uh, well, he's a famous mafia hitman who made a confession. He was an informant, Jimmy the Weasel Fratiano. Now he once testified that he and other gangsters met at La Costa, resort in California with plans to whack or to hit Desi Arnaz. Why? Well, this was due to the mafias just being upset over the show, The Untouchables. Allegedly, I must stress that, the story that was told was that Desi Arnaz was gonna come home and the hitmen were basically hiding, waiting for him to come home where they would perform the task. Now, Desi Arnaz, for some reason, never went home. And so the hitmen were there and wondered, well, what happened? Who tipped them off? And they never found out what happened. So they were ordered the hitmen to come back the next day in order to perform the job. When they came back the next day, they got in the middle of waiting for Arnaz. They got orders, contradictory orders, said, you know what? The hit is off. Let's not do this. Return back to base, quote, so to say. And after they left, Desi Arnaz actually came home and he was never made aware of what happened. I mean, if you think about that, that is a crazy story. Think about Desi Arnaz getting whacked by the mafia. The story continues taking a crazy turn because Mr. Fratiano, the alleged hitman from the mafia, his story was contradicted by a tape recording of an interview with a writer by his own deposition in another lawsuit. Now in this deposition, he said that he had never been at La Costa and did not know where it even was. Now it was known for people who were in the mafia 
to lie to get out of essentially being put in jail and so many things. There was so much going on, so many back and forth contradictory story, but I thought that this had to be told. Now, many allege that this taken this meeting that was supposed to take place at Lacoste in 1963 could have never happened because the resort had not yet been built. Mr. Fratiano conceded that he may have erred, and if he did, I made a mistake. Many people even said that a lot of his testimony was fake, but these details are really interesting of why he even included the name of Desi Arnaz in his testimony. I mean, of all people, I mean, at least it says that there were some ties there, not necessarily bad ties, but literally this is the most surprising story I've ever heard to possibly happen to Desi Arnaz. I'm not an expert in organized crime or anything like that. I just know that the story was told by Miss this Mr. Fratiano in his book, and you can go read it in his book, and it is there. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Whether part of it is true or not, I don't know myself. I just wanted to put it out there to see if anyone has more information, if maybe this could be looked at again. I mean, the ties of Desir Naz to Al Capo's son is very, very interesting. I think a lot of you would find that very fascinating. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. What do you think about this? Do you think the story was true? Do you think it was embellished? Do you think there's partial truth? I mean, the one with Frank Sinatra and Desir Naz almost going to blow that's pretty ridiculous if they ask me thank you so much as always there may be a part two to this if i do come upon more information or more is revealed to me i would love to go into details maybe to put this at rest but for now it is the hit that was allegedly done that was unsuccessful that didn't happen but was allegedly planned or talked about by the mafia we'll see you next time thank you so much for enjoying the video and for supporting the work that i do we'll see you next time and don't forget be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. New patron Gerard D, David D, Citizen Kane 359, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally, and Vito L. Make sure to check the links in the description to see how you could be on this list as well.